Hi, it's me again, and purely by accident, it looks like the BBC might get some usable data about whether they could effectively become a proper streaming service or not. You know, I don't think they wanted this to happen, but it's happening nonetheless. Let's have a look at the story. Freeview Channel Switch Off is coming. In June, over a dozen Freeview channels will move or close as an entire Freeview multiplex is closed to make way for 5G mobile services. Yeah, they're switching off some of the Freeview signal because they've sold that part of the band range of frequency to EE to do 5G stuff with. And because of that, if you use Freeview, you're going to lose loads of channels. Loads of channels. It's mad. Have a look at this. Which channels are affected? <laughs> BBC4 HD, BBC News HD, CBeebies, Forces TV, Free Sports, More 4 Plus 1. Look at that, QVC. But the important part we're talking about here are the BBC ones. All right, and it says BBC4 HD and BBC News HD there. But in other articles, I've seen it mention BBC One HD and BBC Two HD. Now, a lot of people watch them, don't they? You have Freeview, you watch BBC One. You got Who hasn't got an HD telly nowadays? Right, so you're going to watch the HD one. Well, if that goes, you're left with the SD one. Where can you watch the HD one? They answer that. So the HD services are expected to continue to be available, but in standard definition only. Viewers are also expected to be told to switch to the main standard definition channel where the Plus One service ceases to be available on Freeview. Broadcasters, including the BBC, are expected to push online options, such as the iPlayer. BBC iPlayer will allow smart TV users to access HD streams of all BBC channels, including those not on Freeview now. So yeah, as I said at the beginning of the video, the BBC are now going to get some data about being a proper streaming service. Because if you want to watch those channels in HD, the only way you're going to get them is via iPlayer. So they've got to test now their bandwidth, whether they can stream HD content to thousands of people at a time. I'm sure they can. They can get more data about how many users tune in and out of HD channels. This is important information for the BBC because they want to do this. I mean, the future of television is streaming, right? And the BBC would love to charge us all directly for that sort of thing. They would. They would. And they wouldn't have to send people to your doors. They could just bill you directly every month, every person instead of every household. So this is going to be important for the BBC. It's happened by accident to them. But I think this is going to give them some valuable data to assess whether they do have the infrastructure to become a proper a proper streamer. You know, maybe, you know, we'll start seeing in the next few years some stuff go behind a BBC paywall after they've tested all this out. This could happen. You know, they're bringing on more commercial people to, you know, build up that part of the business. Now they're being forced to, you know, get their infrastructure in order for proper streaming of HD video constantly. So yeah, things are moving in the right direction for the BBC to stop poncing off the British people 159 quid a year. What do you think about this? Are you a Freeview user? Are you going to be a bit annoyed about losing these channels? If I was a Freeview user, I'd be a bit annoyed that the government sold off some of the frequency for 5G phones and it's costing me some telly channels. Oh, it's Freeview, you don't pay for it. But that's not the point, is it? Right? So yeah, I'd be a bit annoyed, especially as the government are saying, well, we can't put everything online at the moment and have people stream it because not everyone has super fast broadband so we can't affect normal broadcast TV. You've just affected broadcast TV, the government, by selling off bloody one of the frequencies to EE. So yeah, I don't know, let me know what you think about it in the comments below. And also while you're down there, if you haven't already, please do consider hitting the subscribe button. It doesn't cost you anything, keeps you up to date with the latest videos and it helps the channel to grow and reach more people. I'd really appreciate it if you thought about doing that. So while you're thinking about that, I'll go and make some more videos, which I'll see you in soon. Thanks for watching.